Okay, so that's how we sometimes estimate the frequency of events occurring. But how do we know whether someone or something belongs to a particular group? We often try to categorise each other into social groups to help us make sense of the social world. And to do that, we may rely on a heuristic called the representativeness heuristic. This heuristic, or rule, basically helps us to estimate the likelihood that somebody belongs to a group by comparing the features of that person to the prototype for that group. The prototype is the best example of a category. We use it to represent what people from that category are like. Assuming that our prototype is accurate, this seems like a sensible rule to follow, but unfortunately it can make us insensitive to other useful information when trying to estimate whether someone belongs to a particular category. Let's try an example from a study by Kahneman and Tversky in 1973. I want you to imagine that there's a really hip and happening party going on. At this party there are 30 engineers and 70 lawyers. I'm going to tell you a bit about one person at the party. His name is Jack. Jack is a 45 year old man, he's married and he has four children. He's generally conservative, careful and ambitious. He shows no interest in political and social issues and spends most of his free time on his many hobbies, which include home carpentry, sailing and mathematical puzzles. Okay, so now that I've told you a bit about Jack, do you think he's an engineer or a lawyer?